Welcome to the Black Ops Quiz on the Free Truth Show. Today we'll be joined by our two distinguished guests. <clears throat> we wish to remain anonymous. Coming to you live from somewhere in Northern Europe, this is the Black Ops Quiz. So fingers on buzzers. Question one. In 1963, President Kennedy initiated the process of dissolving the Federal Reserve private bank in the USA. He also began bringing troops back from Vietnam and C made a secret society speech against the dangers, warning against the dangers of secret society. Which of these, which of these actions do you think may have contributed to his death? A, B, C, or D, all of the above? Question two, the Gulf of Tonkin incident. So President Johnson accused North Vietnamese PT boats of attacking strike carries in the Gulf, the USS Maddox and the USS Turner Joy. Documents and tapes released via the Freedom of Information Act have since shown that Johnson knew that there were no boats and no attacks, but still went ahead with lying to the American public on national TV to gain support for escalating the war in Vietnam. Johnson also had the NSA fake intelligence data as if to appear as if the two US ships had been lost. Question two is, how many people died? in Vietnam on both sides of the conflict? The answer is please do your own research and check out these facts for yourself. This is a false flag. And question three is related to this subject. We're going to take a short break. We're going to have a word from our sponsors. Uh, J.P. Morgan, Chase Manhattan, Rothschild, Empirical, Tyrannical, I Have No Heart, Banker. And we'll be right back after this short break. Ever thought of a career in eugenics? Eugenics is the fastest growing industry in our world today. If you're psychopathic and you don't mind a bit of compartmentalization, then eugenics is the career for you. For a while. Our top team of talented tyrantists that have been working tirelessly to bring down the population of our world by 80%. That leaves only 500 million. And take it from me, the profit margins are most agreeable. You'll be out in the field in the cut and thrust of the field, adding toxins in the food, fluoride in the water. And our slow kill science is even reaching from the skies with our global chemtrail spray. And our TV sector has always worked from day one. So, become part of the new world order, bright green future, and ensure that for generations to come, our generations will inherit the earth and remember the only thing that we fear the most is people waking up thank you hair red shield welcome back to the black ops quiz Brought to you today live from an undisclosed 
location in Northern Europe. Excuse me one second. Question three. What suspicious substance was seen weeks after the 9-11 attacks? Flowing like lava, molten metal, molten steel. What suspicious substance was seen still burning very brightly after the World Trade Centers were attacked? And the towers fell. Oh, including Building 7, which also fell, and no plane having hit it. Just a few, a few small fires. But I digress. You have ten seconds. Now. Too late. It was thermite. Thermite was still seen weeks after the attacks burning brightly thermite is of course an explosive material for cutting steel which can be used for cutting steel and uh, it appears to be a very handy substance because all the steel girders most of them sat very nicely thank you onto the back of trucks and uh, a nice clean cut they were too. So that's worth looking into. The real answer of course is to research that for yourself. T-H-E-R-M-I-T-E -E, and over 2,000 independent architects are also very much looking into that. You have been watching, thank you, the Black Ops Quiz from an undisclosed location in Northern Europe. Say no more. The truth is out there. Do have a look yourselves. See you again soon. Do you know where?